We have a lot of things going on here. We have Black Lives Matter partnering with Planned Parenthood, an obvious conflict of interest. We have black women leading the nation in abortion, an obvious conflict of interest. And we have the black community by and large supporting abortion, even though we claim that the greatest threat to white supremacy is the black family, an obvious contradiction. Like I said, I looked it up and I was shocked by the numbers. This year, I mean, I'm sorry, in 2021, it's 700, like 50,000. Mr. Lego, my why whole, does listen, that matter? What about the goddamn children? There's no what children. children. What the <laughs> what I got the do? <laughs> How many children in foster cares are are killed? How many children in foster cares are that are in orphanages abused. and yeah. that are being abused? Honey, since why we care about kids? children, let's care about the children, about the about the children that were born. Uh, so I know for a fact, since you give a f so much about children, that you looked up the children that were born already and what they're going through. So what are the statistics on foster kids who have been this year, tell me. You Google so it. So I don't know the statistics. Oh, that's the answer. That's the only answer I wanted. Nah, that's the only answer it's I needed. It's not about you, though. And I've been telling you all all this time that to be black is to be controlled. So if you think about it, if they tie your blackness, hear me out, if they tie your blackness to these agendas, then that means in order to be black, you have to be a part of these agendas. That's going to be climate change. That's going to be the trans movement, LGBTQ movement. That's the Democratic Party. That is every agenda that's detrimental. They're going to tie your blackness to it. It's no different than them telling you that you got to get this snake bite because you got to save Big Mama and them. They just tie everything that's decadent and evil and wicked to your blackness. And because you all want to be black still, you all have to do it. If you study the structure of the Negro community, mm -hmm. economically, politically, civically, psychologically, and otherwise, it's controlled by the white liberal mm -hmm. who usually poses as the friend of the Negro. What um, did you want it to, to express when you do the the White Life Matters t-shirts? You know, at a certain point, it felt like I saw white people wearing shirts that said Black Lives Matter, like they were doing me such a favor by having a t-shirt that reminded me that my life mattered, like I didn't already know that. So I thought it, I thought I returned the favor and let white people know that, hey, your life matters too. The lanyard's still on from it, and there's a photograph on it. What is that? It's a photograph of a baby's ultrasound. Why is that? And that you designed that? Yes. Why? What does that mean? Uh, it just represents life. I'm pro-life. Boy, so you wear it on a badge. What, what kind of response do you get? And, and good, amen, I agree. I don't care about people's responses. I care about the fact that there's more black babies being aborted than born in New York City at this point. That 50% of black death in America is abortion. So I really don't care about people's responses. I perform for an audience of one, and that's God. Stacey Abrams saying, If you want to abort your baby, vote for me. What level of decadence and demonic and satanic level do a people have to be on for a candidate to say, if you want to abort your baby, vote for me? Do you know how disgusting you got to be for that to even be a pitch to a group of people? Stacey Abrams said, when y'all hear the heartbeat of the baby, it's fake. It's manufactured. What level of sat Satanism and demonism is going on for Stacey Abrams to try to get you to believe that the heartbeat of your baby is fake? 
That's a demon talking. That is Satan talking. But guess what? Y'all gonna vote for 